I cannot sleep. I'm up for some reason, and I've been wanting to read a passage. And I think the Word of God is just, uh, every time, there's the spiritual battle out there is real. And we got to keep remembering, I just wrote a comment that said, um, you know, that we got to remember God is good and the enemy isn't. And there's so much, I mean, when it comes down to it, I'll just read God's Word and um, just want us to encourage one another, believers. I might go ahead and read this. I've been wanting to read it for a while anyway, so might as well since I'm up. <laughs> It's James chapter 5, and it goes with, well, so many things that are going on in the world right now. It's getting a little crazy, right? <laughs> Maybe not even a little, a lot. Okay, come on. It's James chapter 5. Come on now, you rich. Weep and howl for your miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver are corrupted, and their corrosion will be a witness against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have heaped up treasure in the last days. Last days. Indeed, the wage, wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of the reapers have reached the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. He hears. He knows what's going on. You have lived on the earth in pleasure and luxury, and you have fattened your hearts as in the day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the just. He does not resist you. So now he's going to talk to us believers. Therefore, be patient, brethren, sisters, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and latter rain. You also be patient. He's speaking to me too. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not grumble against one another. Woo! That's a good one. Brethren, lest you be condemned, behold, the judge is standing at the door. My brethren, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord as an example of suffering and patience. Yes. Everything was not easy, and the road is narrow. Just remember that. It's worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Keep standing firm. Keep going. And the rewards are great. Indeed, you, we counted them blessed to endure. Endure, my friends. You have heard of the perseverance of Job. Mm -hmm. Whoa, talk about perseverance. And seeing the end intended by the Lord, that the Lord is very compassionate and merciful. And keep remembering that the Lord, our Father in heaven, is merciful and compassionate. Do not let the enemy lie to you about who the Lord is. But above all, my brethren, do not swear either by heaven or by earth or with any other oath, but let your yes be yes. And your no, no, lest you fall into judgment. And there you go. This is just through verse 12. But a lot of people take that one verse and say, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Now you know what is right before that, how he's explaining it, what he's talking about. Believers, let's encourage one another. and Remember that the Lord is compassionate and merciful. And let's trust him and stand firm. I love you all. Have a great day. I cannot wait to get together with some other believers and worship the Lord because it just encourages me so. Um, bye everyone for now.